Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a get motivated with me. Let's get ready for 2021. Time to get our lives together. 2020 has been a whirlwind of a year. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore, but I think we're all just a bit up in the air after what has occurred over the past 12 months. And we're all kind of like dealing with the uncertainty of everything and just trying to like move past it. And move on so with that in mind I'm going to do a bit of like yeah a get your life together get motivated feel good let's start this new year off right I do realize we are on the eighth of the month so we're already a week in but do you know what no better day to start than today this is kind of like a sort of self-care day um for me because I do quite like to get things organized and there's nothing quite like just feeling like your life is in order do you know what I mean like having a tidy room having a tidy mind knowing like your plan for what you're gonna do like we've just went into lockdown and personally I want this to be a productive lockdown for me I feel like lockdown one was kind of productive I was running I was reading I was doing uni work but now I'm not in uni anymore and it's too cold outside to run and I'm still gonna keep reading but I want to make this like as productive and have something to focus on every day and just make the most of this lockdown as possible. So I thought I would start that off today because it is actually the first day of the lockdown in Northern Ireland if anyone cares. The first thing I'm going to do is, this is like how I usually start my days anyway, it is currently 10 past 1. I would normally do this in the morning but I wanted to leave this because I knew I was filming this video today and I wanted to leave it until I was starting to film the video so I'm going to start my day off by doing my journaling pretty much write down in here my goals, my ideas, my plans, my things I'm grateful for, all that sort of jazz, you know. So I'm going to start off by doing that. Just pretty much if I have any like random like video ideas, TikTok ideas, article ideas, anything goes in here and then it's there and it won't go out of my mind. Let's get started, let's get organised and let's get pumped for 2021 so this is what the journal looks like so it's the law of attraction planner it is a little bit pricey but i would say it's 100 percent worth it um it's a very very good journal it sort of like guides you through a load of like meditation sort of things and law of attraction then it also has like i really like journals with prompts so like it'll ask you questions and you like reflect on your month and all that sort of thing and then it has what does it say action steps to feel better and increase your emotional vibration which I really like and you kind of like reflect on how you've been feeling and all that sort of stuff. It just makes you very aware of like your actions and how you're reacting and how you're living and stuff like that. So yeah, I do really like this. As I said, it is a bit pricier, but um, it was a birthday present and I 100% think it's worth it. I'll show you sort of the monthly setup of this journal. Pages are stuck together. Okay, so this is the like monthly setup. So over here, you've got your goal of the month then reward if achieved, which I really, really, really like. This isn't something I ever really did before. I am quite like a person who would feel guilty about buying myself things or like guilty about like spending money on like unnecessary things. So I've actually found this really helpful to like avoid that because basically you put in your goal and then once you achieve that goal, then you can treat yourself to something and it like gives you something to work towards and then like relieves the like buyer's guilt sort of thing. So I really, really like that. Then also you've got your feel good intention, your skills, habits to learn, desired goals this month, action steps to take, and you just fill all that in. And then you've just got like your monthly planner and then just kind of like a free space to do whatever you choose. I tend to write down ideas and stuff I have in here. And then it goes into the weekly planner and it's pretty similar setup. So you've got your week's goal, then your day to day kind of plans. Then this week's priority, top priority, priority, low priority, to-do list, positive habit maker, and then more ideas. I really like this because they've got sort of three ideas and then you can add your own in down the bottom. And then I'm going to take you to the end of the month. And you have your reflect on your month and you have your top 10 achievements. Was I in harmony with like attitude, career, finance, personal growth, health, family, relationships, social life? What did I learn this month? Distractions, mental blocks, fears. How did I make myself feel good? What did not happen and why? What actions can I take to improve? People I learned from and who inspired me. And then you kind of write down the hours you spent doing all these things. Then it just asks you like questions down this side, which 
literally soothed my mind like I was all up in the air one night or like at the end of this month and I did this and it helped my mind so much I'm just on Friday the 8th so I've got I wrote this down last night what I plan to do today there we have write my sponsored article that is done film a tiktok film tiktoks I want to get up more tiktoks like I've heard it's good to get up two or three a day so I've got one up so far so I want to get another one done don't get frustrated obviously the way the world is at the minute everything is like we're very much out of our control like everything's very much out of our control so I just don't want to get frustrated or anything just kind of like try and go with the flow and allow things that are out of my control just to happen and I will respond to them in a positive way and then my final one is film a YouTube video this is what I'm doing now but other than that I'm gonna write down the rest of my plans and my goals and my manifestations and my gratitude sort of bits and bobs. You don't even know me like so that, that is my journaling done for now. I usually do it twice a day so I would do it like in the morning and then in the evening again so you have your habit tracker and then I'd fill in like what I've done say in the morning and then by the evening I fill it all in and then it really keeps me accountable as well because like if there's something I forgot then I see it I'm like oh I need to do that. That's that done. And now my dad is giving out at me that I need to make my bed. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to strip off these Christmassy bed clothes and go back to just regular throughout the year bed clothes. <laughs> One of my greatest tips for getting motivated is just put on a really great playlist that will just like get you in the mood, make you feel good. Like I think music is one of the best things for like changing your mood. Like if you are feeling really bad and then you hear a really uplifting song, like you literally can't it'll just br bring you up like it'll make you feel so much better I put on a great playlist my choice for today is a little bit of Hannah Montana because can you listen to Hannah Montana and feel sad? no the answer is no basically I heard one of her songs on TikTok yesterday and now it's been in my head ever since and all I want to do is listen to Hannah Montana so I'm listening to Hannah Montana I suppose we'll sort out this bed and listen to a little bit of Hannah Montana and that was my Snapchat coming through my speaker and it was far too loud. Come a little closer like that. Staying up on night, throwing drinks back. There we have my bed made and my pretty lights up in the corner. What do you think? They arrived just today, so basically I got them for free because I bought the milk frother. You know, if you've watched my little vlog, you'll have seen it. Um but they sent a thing with it and I was like, you got a free gift. So I just ordered these lights because they were like, I think they were like 20 pound on their own and I got them for free. So I was like, why not? Just add a really nice like thing to the room. We see, you got your wee remote. So I'm proper like TikTok and now you can like change your light color. We see, isn't that cool? But I like the purple. So that's what we go with. Okay, so the basic like thing that I really need to do to sort my life out is basically just declutter. And I have a whole load of stuff on Depop. I have two other bags like this. And then I've got stuff in here. And then I've got stuff in my dad's room as well. Like there's so much stuff that I've got up in Depop. And it's been up there for months. And I might as well just like send it to the charity shop now. Because like no one's bought it. And like I doubt after how long it's been up that anyone's going to buy it now. So I'm just going to sort out what I'm going to leave on Depop. And then what I'm going to take to the charity shop and stuff like that. So well, I suppose the charity bins. Because the charity shops aren't open. So just like you know the way. Like charity. Yeah. So I've just done the three bags and I've got them down to one bag which is good and then I've got all this stuff for the charity bins Then I also need to sort out as I said what's in this cupboard and what is in my dad's room Okay, so I've sorted out these two bags here for The charity bins so I'm going to take them later We're probably like if we're going to see it something there's charity bins there so we can kind of like just drop them off there But for now I'm gonna go for a walk because you know when you're indoors all day and your head just gets really stuffy and like like you you're like it's almost like your mind gets really claustrophobic and you just can't think that's how i feel so i need some fresh air so i'm gonna go for a walk probably listen to a podcast and have a good time and i'll take you guys along because the park is beautiful and it's a beautiful day really see what it's like outside what a lovely winter's day it looks like a little of july but um it certainly won't feel like that when i get outside but anyway yeah i'm gonna go for a walk and Take in the fresh air, just breathe and listen to a podcast. Oh,
So it is actually the next day now. I didn't get everything done yesterday that I wanted to do. After I came back from my walk, I sorted out the rest of those bags and sorted out these two cupboards, sorted out some of my drawers back there. And then it was like the evening and had to have dinner. And then I was on a video call with my friends and then it was just like, I had to go to bed. So yeah, the day literally just like disappeared. So I'm just gonna get on with my getting motivated for 2021 today. So I am doing the Yoga with Adrian 30 days of yoga, but I missed it yesterday, just as I said, time disappeared for some reason. So I'm going to do that now. As you can see, I'm not long on the short and my hair is wet and I'm not gonna dry it because uh, basically the last couple of times I used my hair dryer, it's burned off like a massive chunk of my hair. Like literally it just burned my hair off. So. I don't really want to risk that. Um, so I need to get a new hair dryer because I think it's just old and, well, that's what it says on the internet anyway. Like if that happens, I mean, your hair dryer is just done and it's like heating all wrong. So I need to get a new hair dryer. So I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. And then I also kind of want the Dyson Air Wrap and I'm not gonna rush out and buy that, but I also don't want to buy a hair dryer. And then when I'm like, my goal is to buy that. So anyway, that was a ramble. As I said, I'm going to do day, it's, I'm on day five, I believe, of Yoga with Adrian's 30 Days of Yoga. This is my current space to do it. Um, yeah, it's not a massive space, but we work with what we have. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to start my day. And then I'm just going to, like, jump into this room again and sort more bits of it. As you saw, I did my yoga and all this morning and then now I've got ready and changed and dressed and all that sort of stuff and I did my hair and my makeup and I'm feeling good. Like, I feel like if you want to get motivated, one of the best ways is literally just to like, just put some makeup on, do your hair, wear something nice and then you just feel like so much better and like ready for the day. Like you feel ready to do something, I don't know, but there is like a shift in your brain when you just get ready. But anyway, I've got these bags here and I'm gonna take them to the charity men's as I said. This, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if I explained this morning. I feel like I might've mentioned it, but my hair dryer is fully burning my hair off at the minute, as you can see, which is a bit of a nightmare. So I think it's just too old. So I want to get rid of that. I feel like I did explain it, so I don't really know what to do with that. I feel like I need to take it to the dump. I don't know. Um, but anyway, as I said, taking these three bags to the charity bin and then I will get around to Sorting out the rest of the room. That is why. We, as you saw, went and put the clothes in the clothes bin. So they're all just sitting here at the end of my bed. I know I've got big free space. And then we went for a walk and then we went to Tesco's to get dinner. And while I was in Tesco's, they had like these big baskets exhibit a reduced so they had smaller ones and then they had these bigger ones and this was like 275 and then the smaller ones were 175 and basically so before i had a lot of photo albums and stuff in here and i think i mentioned earlier in this video that i wanted somewhere to put my miley gel nails kit and i was like oh this is such a perfect place but then my camera bag is like in behind here so i put this in here this was also sitting at the end of my bed and obviously I'm gonna to need to get that out sometimes. So I was kind of like, oh, it's gonna be such a hassle to have to lift all of this stuff out to get to that. So I got this basket, which will just fit nicely in here. And I can put my, all my Miley stuff in here. And then it'll probably have room for other stuff too, which is cool. My nails are really weak at the minute because I've had, I've kept doing gels for like the last sort of couple of months and Obviously, my nails just haven't really been able to breathe, so they feel really weak. So I'm just not, have, I haven't got any gel on at the minute. And every time I like hit my nail with something, it like bends backwards. But anyway, that was a complete tangent. I'm going to put all my 
gel kit stuff in here and then it'll probably fit a load of other stuff too is what i was saying so yeah and then that can just slot nicely in there and it's nice and neat and tidy and it looks good i actually decided i'm not going to put anything else i was thinking i could maybe put some makeup bits in but i've decided not to i kind of wish i'd bought another basket but there was loads in tesco so i can always go back and buy another one and kind of put my makeup in it because i feel like that would tidy that up a lot because that's just so messy and yeah now i can just easily slot this in here it's literally the perfect size isn't it that's so good and then if i want my nail stuff literally just lift the basket out i don't have to like fiddle and try and lift a load of stuff out or if i want my camera just lift the basket and then my camera's behind so yeah i think my next task is gonna need to be this and this but i'll probably leave that until tomorrow because i don't really have anything else to do tomorrow and it is currently like eight o'clock half eight nine maybe and i want to make a pinterest vision board so vision boards are so good to like get you motivated just to like focus on your goals think about things you want and what you're trying to like manifest into your life so yeah i think i'm gonna put together a little pinterest vision board it's also just a really like therapeutic thing to do like i used to make vision boards when i was younger I didn't even really think of them as vision boards, I just thought of them as like things that I liked. Like you would see, it's almost like a Tumblr thing, like you would print off pretty pictures off Tumblr that you really liked. Like you know you would do it on like your school folder and just put them all together into like a wee collage. I'm going to do that on Pinterest. I've got my iPad over here. There's something about doing it on the iPad that's so much more relaxing than like on your phone or on the laptop. So that's what I'm going to do while we watch something on TV. We just finished third generation of Skins. What do you think? What's your favourite Skins generation? You liked one, didn't you? I liked one and three. I liked two though, because I love like the little Effie and Cook and all that. It was good. I don't have a favourite, like, <sighs> they were all so good for different reasons. Although everyone, like, see everyone who we spoke to before, they were all, like, season threes were rubbish, or like, generation threes were rubbish. I really liked it. They all it. said two, like, two was, yeah. Three was rubbish, two was... Good. It's I like too. Personally, I, think I loved my favourite part of Skins is the bit where Sid sings. Like I will never forget that. That has made that show for me. I wrote an essay on Skins. That was the best thing about my degree. Like my master's was a shambles, but I got to write a um essay on Skins. And I did get a first in it. So I'm a Skins ex expert technically. But now, as I said, I'm gonna make my vision board. And I'm loving this lighting. It's really, I love it. This would be a really good selfie spot too, because I've got my. Sorry, I'm blabbering on when I said I was gonna go. But anyway, I've got my, uh, like sort of mirror, light up mirror here, and then my purple lights just add a really nice color, and I feel like a proper like TikToker. and it was very like focusing now i'm really thinking about my goals and what i want to achieve and what i want to manifest into my life and i'm just feeling really good like it sort of reminds you of like what you're working towards and what you want from life um so i've done that and now it's pretty late it's actually five to twelve don't know where the time's gone but i'm not overly tired so i'm going to spend the rest of the evening reading i'm not sure what i'm gonna read right now i have been reading sapiens look at that hair so i've been reading sapiens by yuval noah harari it's a very good book but it's very intense like it's so very like scientific and historical and all that so i it's definitely a book i need to take slowly i read a chapter last night i might give another chapter a go tonight like one chapter at a time with this for me um, I think one of the best things to motivate you in terms of like to do things is to not push yourself to do them perfectly or to do them the best or just push yourself to do them 
and accept that you don't have to do them completely 100% perfect or like you, you don't have to do them really quickly as long as you show up and do it that's all you can really ask of yourself and it like really helps you stop procrastinating and just do it so I might read a chapter of that and then go on to something a bit lighter as in Feminist Don't Wear Pink or start a new novel because I finished my other novel Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan if anyone's interested yesterday so yeah I think that's how I'm going to finish off my night and probably this vlog as well so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to head down below this video massive thumbs up and subscribe because I will have a lot of fun content coming in 2021. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon for a brand new video. Bye!